hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a and b if we have 1 over a plus 1 over b is equals to 1 over 19 and we solve this problem for the values of a and b so here first we need to uh, remove uh, these fractions from both of the sides so that in order to remove these fractions we need to multiplying on both of the sides by 19 times of AB. So when we multiply each of these terms by 19 times of AB, it will be written as 19 times of AB multiplied by 1 over A plus 19 times of AB multiplied by 1 over B is equals to 19 times of AB multiplied by 1 over 19. So here we multiply each of these terms by 1 over 19 and now we need some simplifications here and you see that this a is cancelled out by this a and we will get here 19 b plus this b is cancelled out by this b and we get here 19 times of a is equals to this 19 is cancelled out by this 19 and we get here a b only so uh, in the next step uh, here we move these two terms to the right hand side and you see here both of these terms are positive when we move in the right hand side it will becomes negative so we get here a b this is positive 19 a becomes minus 19 a this is positive 19 b becomes minus 19 b and this whole equation equals to zero and now you see here from both of the first two terms we have a is included on both of the terms so we will take common a from here when we take common a from here we get b only minus from when you take common a from here we get 19 only and here we have this is minus 19 times of b is equals to 0 and now in the next step here we need uh, an extra term uh, which we add on both of the sides then we easily make the factor that is b minus 19 so we get b minus 19 uh, only in this way so uh, in which we get here 19 with a common okay so uh, so that when we multiply 19 with 19 it will be written as 361 so we replace this value 361 on both of the sides or in other words uh, we will adding 361 on both of the sides so when we add 361 on both of the sides then our above equation is written as a times of b minus 19 and minus 19 times of b here we add 361 on both of the sides in this way okay and now here uh, in the next step we need to take common 19 from here because uh, here we have this is 361 and we know from here that 361 is equals to 19 multiplied by 19 okay this value is equals to 19 times of 19 so uh, when we take common 19 from here we return as a times of b minus 19 and when we take common minus 19 from here we will get because we take common negative sign also so this positive sign becomes negative and we get b minus 19 is equals to uh, here we have this is 361 and now in the next step uh, we need to take common uh, b minus 19 from here so when you take common b minus 19 here we will get a minus when you take common this value we will get here minus 19 and this whole equation is equals to 361 so here we get uh, some possibilities in which we get the product of two numbers is equals to 361. So we have uh, the possibilities are uh, 361 is multiplied by 1 is equals to 361. The second possibility is 1 is multiplied by 361 is equals to 361 and the third possibility is that 19 is multiplied by 19 is equals to 361. So here we make three cases uh, to find the values of A and B and we call this is our case number 1, this is case number 2 and this is our case number 3. So now here in the first case we compare these two factors with these two numbers and it will be written as 
first you have b minus 19 and the first factor is 361 the second factor is a minus 19 is equals to the second number is 1 only okay so here uh, from this we get the value of b is equals to 361 plus 19 from here we get a is equals to 1 and plus 19 okay so we get the value of b is equals to 1 plus 9 becomes 10 we write 0 and carry 1 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 and this is our 3 so from first case we get the value of b is equals to 380 and from here we get the value of a is equals to 20 so these are the two values of a and b which we get here from first case and now here in the next step we move towards our second case and in second case uh, we need to compare these two factors with these two values okay so after comparing the values we get here uh, b minus 19 is equals to 1 and a minus 19 is equals to 361 so from here we easily get the value of b is equals to 1 plus 19 and from here we easily get the value of a is equals to 361 plus 19 so uh, in the next step we get the value of b is equals to 1 plus 19 becomes here 20 this is the value of b which we get here in second case and here we need to sum up these two values and we get 1 plus 9 is 10 we write 0 and carry 1 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 and this is our 3 so this is the value of a which we get here from second case and uh, in the same pattern we move towards our third case and in third case we again compare the above cases uh, with the, uh, the pairs of numbers 19 and 19 and after comparing the pairs we get b minus 19 is equals to 19 and a minus 19 is equals to 19 so from here we easily get the value of b is equals to 19 plus 19 and from here we easily get the value of a is equals to 19 plus 19 so uh, we obtain here b is equals to 19 plus 19 becomes 38 and from here we get the value of a is equals to 19 plus 19 becomes here 38 so in third case we get the same both of the values are equals to 19 so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos